Well, we got ourselves another massive update when it comes to Marvel Rivals. What's going on, everybody? My name is Blissinger. Ladies and gentlemen, the week is here. The closed alpha test will be launching at wow. the end of this week for Marvel Rivals. And they've been doing such an amazing job of continuing to update us on details about the alpha itself and how it will work. And then in addition to that, just revealing some really other exciting things. I mean, we're talking about thousands of dollars in prize pools. We're talking about the reveal of the brand new, exceptionally epic looking map. And of course, a bunch of other details when it comes to the closed alpha itself. We're going to be covering all of that here in today's video. Of course, guys, if you do enjoy the video, like I always say, please take a quick moment to leave a like. That would be very much appreciated. Thank you so very much here for your support. And let's dive on in. So let's kick things off with the thing that I'm sure has perked up a lot of your guys' ears. Yes, there's going to actually be an actual tournament for this game, which was so out of the blue. I personally did not expect it. I think it's a great idea because I think it will allow for some really hopefully exciting gameplay moments to take place. And I was completely blown away by the fact that they are actually going to be providing a huge, at least in my opinion, prize pool for this very first tournament with $22,500 being on the line with the overall prize pool. Now, what is this tournament actually going to be? Well, this is going to be called the Dawn of Legends. It is going to be a 6v6 tournament with some pretty epic prizing to bode, and it will actually take place in three separate phases. So first, they will allow for registration to occur between May 10th up to May 13th. Then there will be open qualifiers to take place between May 14th to the 16th. This is essentially where you're gonna be able to prove yourself and qualify for the next stage, which is of course going to be the knockout stage, and that will be taking place between May 17th to May 19th. Now, for those of you that don't qualify through these stages or maybe don't even have a code to begin with, it seems like there will still be a value in watching the streams because, well, first and foremost, I think you're gonna learn some really cool meta-defining moments. We're probably gonna see some really epic and high quality gameplay for this game as people figure out kind of what characters can do best and how they can combo together. So that should be exciting in and of itself. But in addition to that, they also went on and said the following when you tune into marvel rivals live streams you will be able to earn even more invite codes and sweet rewards which is pretty exciting because that means that maybe for those of you that were not able to be selected for the closed alpha through their regular sign up you might be able to obtain an invite code that way and since we're on the topic of obtaining invite codes they have also said the following saying that when you join the closed alpha test and you'll be able to complete different milestones within the test itself, and you'll be able to go ahead and earn additional invite codes that you could use for your friends. So I think that that's a brilliant idea. I think it's a great way to incentivize people who have gotten a code to keep playing so that you could bring more and more of your friends into the closed alpha. That way you're able to kind of spread the wealth around and allow people to enjoy the game for themselves. Oh, but that is not all because they continue to drop even more heat because they actually have gone ahead and revealed the five modes that will be accessible for us to explore during the closed alpha test. Them being a tutorial mode, which basically obviously kind of self-explanatory, just allows you to learn the basics and kind of figure out how the game actually works. Cool thing though, is that you will be able to fight with Galacta apparently as part of the tutorial. So that's pretty neat. Then there's the quick match mode, which essentially will just allow you to choose a hero, defeat some enemies, and then you'll be able to complete the mission objectives that come along with that particular quick match. Then you have the pocket universe, which is described as following, respawn at a flexible location and eliminate as many enemies as you can, followed by custom. That really surprised me. I can't believe that they're already gonna allow us to have custom matches, where you're essentially gonna be able to create customized matches to play with or against your friends. I mean, that is crazy. We're in the closed alpha and they're already allowing us to have this much variety. I can't wait for the full release, but that's not all because there's also competitive mode, which will allow you to ascend through the ranks and essentially just play ranked mode, allowing you to level up and compete against better and better players as you rank up. Whew, I'm out of breath and we're not even halfway done with everything that we need to discuss. 
Now, they have also confirmed that obviously, because there's way more of a demand for this particular closed alpha test than they kind of expected, I think, they've basically said that not only will they be rolling out some new spots during the test itself, which again, like I mentioned before, will be viable through earning them in the actual plays or by watching live streams for Marvel Rivals. So I think that's a very, very cool move for them to take. But in addition to that, this sentence right here, I think is very, very encouraging for all of you in other regions of the world outside of NA, plus just people who don't get a chance to play during this first close alpha. They say the following. We're also fast tracking our upcoming cast plans to get more of you into the Marvel Rivals action as soon as we can. I think that's super duper encouraging and exciting to hear because hopefully it means that more and more regions will get a chance to have a test on their hands for this game as soon as possible. But that's not all because they had a very exciting reveal just a few days prior to me discussing today's update. And that was, of course, the official reveal of Tokyo 2099, both the traditional and the futuristic Shin Shibuya map reveal. Now, of course, we've talked about a very similar map reveal for Xguard, and I really, really like that so far we have a great dichotomy between the maps. I like that they are completely different. One is obviously a very kind of technological, super futuristic, obviously still has some roots in traditional Japan with this Shin Shibuya map, but then Xguard offers us much more of a fantasy sort of experience and setting. So I think that that's very cool, and hopefully they stick to that going forward where the maps are gonna feel very unique and different in terms of theme, and that will allow the game to feel a lot more fresh, in my opinion, as we dive into the different maps. Now, beyond that, the map itself is absolutely freaking crazy. Like, there are so many really cool reveals throughout this particular map reveal, from the spider bots that are showcased right at the very start of the reveal, to then, of course, the mention and showcases of the actual Alchemax building, which is usually the corporation that Miguel has to deal with. Let me clarify, Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man 2099 has to deal with. So obviously really cool that they have those little Easter eggs. But then beyond that, there are some other really cool things that I haven't even seen people talking about, like this arcade cabinet here possibly gives us our first look at Doctor Doom 2099 and their design for him because it says War Tales there. And you can see Captain America on the right you can see Doctor Doom 2099 on the left. Plus, there's a giant Doctor Doom poster right up above. I think that's really, really cool to see. Obviously, the paneling on the arcade cabinet itself seems to showcase a couple of Spider-Mans possibly battling Kingpin. If we ever got Kingpin in this game, that would be interesting. I would love to see what he would look like. And more importantly, I guess what he would play like in terms of his abilities. Additionally to that, there is just tons of other references to spider-man for example we have the spider-man zero logo on this building right here but then right below it at least to me that looks very very similar to the design of the spider-man 2099 white and red costume which is one of my absolute favorite costumes they have ever made so i absolutely love 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 the idea that this could be a reference to that Although it could also be just the white redesign for spider punk because of the spikes and the rock and roll symbol so again i guess that one is a little bit up to personal interpretation you can also see this really cool advertisement for penny parker's spdr or spider armor depending on how you want to pronounce it here with the parker industries logo on there so again just riddled with easter eggs without a shadow of a doubt we get this really goofy kind of 8-bit animation of what looks like maybe Spider-Punk 2099 battling the bombastic Bagman from 2099. So again, absolutely brilliant. Hopefully those are available in-game as skins for Spider-Man. And then finally, we get this very ominous shot of this spider persona where they slowly ominously zoom in on this character. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've read a lot of comic books. I don't recognize which or who this character is. So if you know, 
drop that in the comments section below so there you go guys marvel rivals is almost here i cannot wait to dive into this one on friday and have a chance to showcase some gameplay and stuff for you guys super duper excited i'm so glad that they're doing such a great job of continuing to update us on things giving us really a lot of insight into the decision making and how they're rolling out things like this closed alpha test but then obviously also providing information beyond that on just decisions about how to balance the characters how they're designing the characters all of these things are super duper cool and i hope they continue to do this up until and hopefully even after the full release of the game of course guys if you did enjoy today's video please don't forget to leave a like that would be very much appreciated here on youtube thank you guys so very much for your support i will hopefully catch you guys here on the next one have an absolutely fantastic day peace out see you later alligators